Oh, would you look at that? I've disappeared. How about that? Let me sort that out. Hey, Rani here. Should we play a game? And don't worry, it's not that time yet. Although I guess it is because I'm here. <laughs> Due to circumstances outside of our control. We're streaming like what? An hour and a half early today. And even more unprecedented, we're playing a weekend game on a weekday. Cats and dogs living together and all that stuff, am I right? Let's get the game started. That's misaligned. Why is that misaligned? <laughs> it's all going wrong. I'm finding Farcom and WHO shipping containers everywhere. Romer and Fagan must have been working on something big. Stay focused on the mission. Don't get distracted. Right. Let me fix that for you. <laughs> Nearly. Why is it too big? Oh, I swear. I swear I had the setup right. I specifically went out of my way this morning to set this up right. There we go. I didn't think it was weird that it didn't seem to fit on the screen properly. Anyway. We're back in the game, everyone. We're back in the game. Right. Now, the pattern up until this point with this game has been that the second mission is where stealth goes out the window and it turns into an action shooter. We've got to eliminate nine more scientists, so we've got to just kill nine more just random scientists. We've got four subjects there. And it's good thing we know exactly how many subjects are in this base before we've even been in it. Right, which weapons do we have? We have shotgun. Oh, the G18, that's a good one. Um, that thing, which is not so good actually. And we've got the taser. Hmm. Well, I'm thinking we're going with the shotgun. Why not? Oh, there's our guy. Is that guy like wearing like <laughs> a monk's robes? Anyone else here? Oh, oh, someone to administer antigen to. I bet he's being... We're on the second level now. This is where the difficulty's meant to go up a bit, right? So I bet he's kind of like being flanked by someone. The second I go in there to administer to him, they're going to jump me or kill him or something, right? So that's... I don't see anyone else on the map. Yes, I have. Yeah, I actually finished it just last night. Um... Oh, there, there goes that guy. Yeah, um... I'm just going to get behind cover. <laughs> um, it's quite an interesting game. I think the nuts and bolts of it are actually really good. Like the, the basic kind of movement, the visuals, that kind of stuff, I think are really good. I'm not entirely convinced by the game they built with those nuts and bolts. I think maybe it might be slightly too long for what it needed to be, but it's, it's definitely quite an achievement, especially when you see how short those credits are. <laughs> oh, oh dear, oh dear. Where is he? Yeah! <laughs> um, it did, it did kill me the first time. Um, I didn't get it my first try, but it was more because I was confused, to be honest. I wasn't quite sure what was going on, and I got lost. <laughs> oh, I nearly tased the guy, oops. <laughs> yeah, um, I got I got lost and um, I did find the padlock right at the beginning and then I couldn't find my way back to it. So um, when I actually got the key off the guy, um, I just ran around in circles until the dogs wore me down. That's my next target. I actually like the... Um, uh, cause I did first get the bad ending where you get in the helicopter, um, but I did actually really like the final area of the castle. Um, it kind of turned into Resident Evil 4, which I think maybe fits more the um, more the gameplay that, that they've built. You know, that kind of like slightly sillier, slightly more action focused kind of thing. Like um, the protagonist was like cracking wise about like uh, the bowl of blood being the Kool-Aid that made everyone crazy and I'm like, this isn't the same character at the start of the game, but if, oh, 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 die. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I felt like it actually 
fit what the game actually was much better, the more kind of like action oriented sort of thing. It feels more like a Resident Evil 3 than say a 1 and 2. Yes. Oh, they could have really gotten the drop on me. I didn't even think this room would be here. Uh, what else was I going to say about it? Um, about um, Demonus. What happened? What else happened with it? Um, the final boss killed me a few times, and then um, uh, chat just straight up went. You should really go back and get a different weapon. I did, and it was a lot easier then. Um, so the, I'm not sure if it's entirely intentional, but I guess it must be. Was the um, was the boss kept um, kept stunning his own mobs, which I thought was a bit was a bit funny. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! I do wonder what the game's like in the first person mode because there is a bit halfway through where it becomes like a first person um, escape simulator, which I thought was kind of interesting. Oh dear! Other way he's still tracking me as I fall to the ground. <laughs> I'm finding Farcom and WHO shipping containers everywhere. Check. Right, let's give that another go. Actually, the shotgun was working really well. I don't know why. I think I only switched away from it because that guy um, on the balcony was a bit far away. Other than that, it was really working for me. So, where is he? Oh, I know you're here. <laughs> and then we're going to get jumped from above. So we want the right weapon for that. Get behind this pillar. Oh wait, I can actually just... I, I don't need to use the scope with this, okay. That worked. And then the guy's going to jump me from the right. Ready with the taser. Oh, I guess the guy's not going to jump me from the right. Okay. That's how this game does the whole thing. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. You raise a good point. We never went back and did the other elements. We only... Um, that's kind of weird. Um, yeah, so it was a bit roughly like a third of the way through the game, right? Where you, um, you go into like the, the spiritual realm and it's got the bones floating up. Um, and you solve a single puzzle in there with the uh, with the fire elements. I was like, oh yeah, we'll come back later on and do the other four. It never happened. Did I miss some optional content? Or is it maybe a new game plus thing? Right. I'm gonna ignore the guy across the way and go straight for the target. Oh, or it could spawn right behind me. That. Oh, okay. Because um, I need. Oh, yeah. There was like a key to um, question mark, wasn't there? You could spend the essence on. Right. Okay. So I wasn't quite sure where that was going to go. I mean, there was one room in the mansion we never got to. Ooh, dear. Right, let's go up. Uh, let's get some bit of range on it. Right, okay. Hmm, so we haven't finished it. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna have to new game plus it now. Oh, oh, we're not doing any damage. Okay. Yeah, that was the thing, was, um, I kind of got it from like the, um, there was an item uh, file that hopped for the game where you get a, um, like a children's drawing and the implication is the protagonist drew it when they were young. Um, showing, or maybe not the protagonist, I think it's the protagonist's daughter. Yeah, it's the protagonist's daughter, I think. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I don't know, I've gone brain blank. <laughs> oh, he's got a jacket on, I can't, I can't shock him. Uh, <laughs> what 
What's this AI doing? Yeah, oh, yeah, okay, that's what, that's where I was going with it. There was the uh, whole thing where the, the kind of mind palace thing. Um, and that turned out to be inside the Big Bad's castle, so there was kind of like a, a bit of a link there, a bit of a link there. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> oh, survived it this time. <laughs> yeah, the the thing at the end because he does um he does actually wake up after the credits, doesn't he? So his eyes sink over and he wakes up as if to imply, oh, that wasn't the true ending. He need to go back and do it again. Where's that scientist gone? I definitely didn't, didn't kill him, do I? Oh, can I climb these boxes? Yeah, um... I guess I could, yeah. I mean, I think... It's not quite clear whether the game is designed first as over the shoulder, or whether it's designed first as, um... third person, because it is sort of difficult to design a game for both. I mean, given that over the shoulder is the most restrictive, it would make sense to do over the shoulder first and then add... So, sorry, fixed cameras. Fixed camera angles is the most restrictive. It makes sense to do this first and then just sort of bolt the other perspectives on, but there were a few spots where it felt like it wasn't necessarily designed for fixed camera angle. I'm, I would be curious to see just how different it is when you can freely aim. I like to the first person mode though. I thought that was interesting in like RE7 and things and RE8. Okay, be careful here. Because from a bit gung-ho, he will just walk straight off the edge. There we go. <laughs> this guy takes no damage and then he drops one inch too far and just splats roadkill. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, yeah. I, I bet it is. Ah, there's our patient. There's our next patient. Where are they going to jump us from? Oh! <laughs> well, that answers that. <laughs> ah, using their own patience as bait. You can't take these guys as hostages, you just have to kill them, which is a bit strange. That doesn't feel like I'm the good guy, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bust your window. Hell yeah! That's the implication, but the game's like, just, um, I'm like, you know, can I take them as hostages or something? You know, we can get information about this, this viral toxin thing they've been working on. It's just, no, just eliminate them, just kill them, just murder them. <laughs> <laughs> well, the the plot we've had so far is they're making kind of like a, um, a sort of like a, a programmable virus that you can target to individual people or um, like groups and backgrounds and things. So, you know, most people get it and it wouldn't really give them any symptoms, but other people would, you know, straight up die, which is kind of... I mean, that's... Theoretically more useful than just we made zombies, like... <laughs> it's more useful than, say, what the uh, Umbrella people came up with, I guess. Oh, we'll back. But then again, the... Oh! Okay, that wasn't expected. The, uh, the zombie virus in Resident Evil was an accident, wasn't it? Whereas this is intentional. Ah, we've... Uh... Given him a head pat on the back of the head, and now he's fine. Good. It's never, I mean, well, I say it, it never is anything else, but you know. <laughs> Viruses get a bad rap. What about, you know, protozoa or bacteria? How do people get in and out of these rooms without busting through windows? I'm... <laughs> oh, back up, back up, back up, back up. Right, this might be a good time to use a gas grenade if I've got one. Yeah, let's try this. You 
Son of a... Oh, they just walked out of the way of it. Okay, they're, they're pretty smart. Oh, no, he's wearing a jacket, I can't. <laughs> so the taser in this game, if you can, um, if they're not wearing a flak jacket, is basically an instant kill because it sets them alight for some reason. <laughs> I think this game predates analog sticks, so it's all D-pad inputs, so aiming through sights and stuff. Bit crusty, but it does work. I've done a really good job of kind of like balancing the kind of weight and speed of it, so it, it kind of... It feels more precise than it is, if that makes sense. Oh, the game's asking that I press a lot of buttons at once right now. Ah! <laughs> oh, damn it, I look back up. There we go, there we go. Yeah, I was going to be playing something else today, but some external factors have kind of conspired. <laughs> oh! Wait, is that someone disarmed? I'm going to fix that. He's running around like a headless chicken, but he is armed. Oh no! Oh no, a scientist killed me! Ah! Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm finding oh no, this mission has no checkpoints. Everywhere. What? What? Oh well, at least it's... <laughs> I mean, do we have any objectives? Find the card keys. I bet it gives us some um, checkpoints after we find the card keys. Right. And the shotgun's reasonably effective for some reason. <laughs> Yeah, we're in some kind of like converted chapel thing that's kind of like also a biotech lab for some reason. I mean, it's a good setting. I quite like it. It's quite spooky. It's almost kind of like um, in the original Resident Evil 2 how they were going to make it just a straight up police station. It was actually kind of boring. They kind of realised, no, it should be kind of spooky. It should have like gothic architecture in it, even if it doesn't quite make any sense that it does. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, whoa! Just tore straight through me. <laughs> man, this isn't going well. Is it? WHO shipping containers everywhere. Check. So one of the things about this game is there's like a danger meter up here in the top left corner, and um, it's almost kind of like a, if you ever played, say, like the Tales games or anything like that. It's actually an actually it's more like an accuracy evasion bar than is anything else. And the longer you spend in the line of fire, the more that bar fills up, and the more the more likely they are to hit you. Most things are not quite a one-hit kill, but if you've got no armor, they're at most two, a two or three hit kill. So if they manage to fill that, you know, if you stand in a position where that danger bar fills up, and they manage to get a couple of shots in, you're probably done. Help me. Yeah, um, I've played about half of Resident Evil 3 Remake. Um, it's definitely had a it's definitely had a, a very negative reception, and I've not actually played the original all the way through, but I can kind of see it after playing it about halfway through. It's very strangely condensed. Oop, I need to get out of the way. Danger box filling up. Okay, let's get rid of that scientist. The, um, they managed to make the nemesis uh, go from kind of intimidating for, to just sort of annoying, which is actually sort of impressive given how, <laughs> how effective he is in the middle, in the original. Um, I'm also not a fan of his, um, 
of his look in the remake. It kind of looks like he's wearing like a a, a bin liner as a bathrobe. It's it's not entirely sure what they were going for, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, I guess like because like the the remake of two was pretty strong. There was a lot of hype for it, and then it was just pretty openly disappointing to a lot of people. It must have been like pretty sort of. I didn't really have the same kind of attachment to the original as most people did who played it, but my gather it was really disappointing to those people. Oh 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 oh. Oh, oh, that was close. <laughs> That's one way of looking at the situation. Oh, he's wearing flux. Oh, no! I got killed by the same time. Oh, I didn't learn a damn thing. Damn it. Damn it! I'm fighting Farcom and WHO shipping it. Right. <laughs> oh. Okay, all right. This time, this time, we're not gonna, <laughs> we're not gonna get killed with that lone scientist with a pistol. Embarrassing. Right. Where's that other scientist? Where is he? Oh, I need to get out of the way. Oh, ah. Danger boss filled up. Ah, keep moving. Yeah, that's one of the things, right? Um, they they replicate extremely quickly and they mutate quickly. Ah, but but they tend to be relatively simplistic, though, don't they? Because they they only have so much payload. Uh, I haven't. No, I've never actually played any of them. Um, they do look pretty good. I've heard some pretty good things about them. Yeah, left. There it is. Yes! Uh, so yeah, I believe they're basically set in the metro under... Is it, is it Moscow after kind of like a... some kind of catastrophe hits? I'm not entirely sure what. Maybe a nuclear war? Possibly? Combat rolls, combat rolls. What makes it uh, particularly ideal in that case is um, I can't think what you specifically put into them to make it effective other than... I mean, I, I, it's hard to think of anything more effective than what they did in this game where you can target it to sp specific people. Because um, 
you know, of course you've got the whole kind of classic zombie thing if it gets out of control. Oh, okay, yeah. So basically you, you sort of like target drop it and then even though it, you, you do lose control of it, it tends to mutate in such a way that it's less lethal. That, in a corrupted, twisted, messed up kind of way, that makes sense, I guess. <laughs> Right. Let's go get to the next next checkpoint without dying. Why am I taking this gun? It's effect it's not very effective at this range. Uh that's kinda of weird. I've lost my silence pistol. Actually I wonder if it's still in this menu. Mm. Oh there it is. Oh it's out of ammo, that's why it's not allowing me to select it. That that makes sense. Well, missing targets, please. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've already been in this room. I don't remember. I guess the other thing with um, high mutation rate, though, is it could... It's unlikely to change for the worst, but it could do. It's gonna be, there's going to be an element of unpredictability there. Isn't someone meant to jump me after that? Isn't that how this works? Right. Yeah, I guess it tends to, um, yeah, because it wants the, not that it actually has desires necessarily, but evolution, the evolutionary pressure is to in fact, as many hosts as possible while not killing them, because if they kill, if, if they kill the host, they can't um, further spread it. Where have they gone? Oh, there's the guy. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this game's got um, slightly overloaded buttons, meaning that you can um, sometimes uh, struggle to distinguish between interacting with objects and reloading. Fortunately, it doesn't seem like there's any, well, it doesn't seem like anyone's doing such things at the minute. Where's that guy going? Is he running to the... Can he exit? That kind of looked like he was running to the left, didn't it? Oh! There was armor right there at the start of the level the whole time. Oh my god. Oh dear. Yeah, because they're not able to... Um, they're not able to in any way kind of understand what they're doing. Almost kind of just like a self-replicating pattern. Like even um, even bacteria, right? I believe can actually. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, the small size is definitely going to be a thing. Like you can get some absolutely massive single-celled creatures, can't you? I, I knew they were. I knew they were smaller. But I didn't. I didn't know they, they were like to the point in which they had the issue. Um, had problems. Um, Viewing them on microscopes, that's... <laughs> right, where, where is he? This guy has killed me a couple of times because he tends to be right around this corner and it's kind of difficult to get a lock on him. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Roll. Turn around. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, took quite a bit of damage there. Good thing I picked up the armor. Come on. Yes! Oh. 
Okay, so we are down to, we've got six scientists and one subject left. Oh, there's a guy up there. Okay. What's he doing? Oh, there's two of them. Where's the other guy? I can see someone else on the map. Oh, he's got a jacket. Okay. Oh, there. I'm in danger. Wait, how am I in danger? Who's shooting at me? Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, cool, you're actually studying. That's, that's really cool. Yeah, I hope that, I hope that goes well for you, because that's... Uh, definitely feels like it's going to be a... Quite an area of study, given what's happened in the last few years. I, well, I won't, I won't lie, I know almost nothing about it, but I was kind of amazed they were able to sort of synthesize an at least partially effective um, vaccine for what happened a few years ago. Oh, thank goodness this is a jacket. It's always good that they go back and finish it off, yeah? Wait. I think I know how they've been moving the virus. They must be injecting new strains into the test subjects here and using Fagan's exposition center as a cover for transporting the bodies. They could be shipping these carrier bodies all over the world. Copy. I already have a team searching for Fagan's warehouse and shipping center. ETA to Romer's holding cells? I'm working on it. Ah, okay. Oh, I, I, I. Hey, you do, you're doing all the impressive engineering, all the uh, impressive sounding engineering stuff. There he is. I think I'm mostly shooting around beneath him. There we go. Yeah, I imagine it is. A, I mean, it's so many. The most obvious thing is kind of batteries that um, that has recently been kind of like advanced a lot in. But um, yeah, so many applications of chemical and engineering. And like, I guess. It's actually quite a wide, you know, a degree in chemical engineering is actually probably quite a wide sort of net to cast. And it's probably like, much like, much like something like biology, there's a huge amount of just specializations and things you can go into, right? Okay, I think again. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Whoa, whoa. Shotgun's effective with that kind of range in this game. Okay. Oh, oh, he's up there. Okay. I didn't realize there was two of them. <laughs> right, he's not wearing a flak jacket, so he's about to get a zapling. Never not be funny. Okay. That guy's not wearing one either, so it's Yeah, it's tasing from all the way down here. <laughs> Why is that in the game? I just don't understand. Anyway. Okay, I guess I'm climbing those boxes again out of here. I'm just gonna have a quick search around though because they do tend to pop items sort of in the corners and I do tend to miss them. Yeah, I think just um there were a lot of enemies in that period room I could have oh, there's one. A lot of enemies in that period room I could have dealt with, but I think I'm better off just seeing if I can approach the room from a different angle because they were just way above and it's kind of tricky to hit high up targets in this game. Have they hidden something on top of this? Because this looks climbable. Who sacks boxes like this? <laughs> A stiff breeze and the, oh, they all come falling down.
Nice. Oh, be careful backing up. Yep. Yep. <laughs> So one of my favorite fact, uh, facts about this game is that the, um, the previous game this company developed was Bubsy 3D. <laughs> they went from Bubsy 3D to this. <laughs> and I think they went on to make things like Days Gone eventually. So that's quite an arc. I think we can actually get them Let's climb on the railings. Let's see if they. Yeah, yeah, it's an item up there. Cool. Always good to keep that topped up. Right. We still haven't had the checkpoint. This is making me nervous. <laughs> Yeah, this is the room that we were just in the bottom of and we we're sort of looking up and we couldn't really see what was going on, but we could see there were people shooting back. Oh! Yes! <laughs> that guy's head wasn't even occupying a single pixel at this range. It's ridiculous. Okay. Oh! Okay, no flak jacket, we can tase him. Yes! <laughs> oh no, that guy's wearing a flak jacket, we can't tase him. Okay. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're gonna G18. Okay. Yes! Whew. These combat encounters are getting quite sort of tight. <laughs> okay, now we have to cross this... whatever this is. <laughs> I was going to call it a balcony, but no, this is a balcony. Again, do people normally do this to traverse this space? It's not like there's a locked door that we, we're doing, you know, doing this to get around or something. It's just that... Uh-oh, 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 uh -oh. I need to get off this. Ah! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, there's a scientist. Okay, oh! Checkpoint! Oh, thank goodness. And we have a key card for... Some... Um... I'll be honest, I'm not really sure. Um... It's not super clear. I don't think it is. I think it's like a... Because um, one of the people who works for our agency, I don't remember which agency it is, um, was kind of involved with this terrorist organization. So I think maybe they're either exfiltrating resources or disguising them or something. I don't think it's actually the UN. I think it's yeah, I think it's like a, a, a sort of a cover-up thing. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? No, 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 no. <laughs> Tried to reload your gun and then Gabe's just like, oh, I'm getting on this wall and no. <laughs> I think the game doesn't do is line you up when you climb over something, so. <laughs> In fictional universes, it seems to, yeah. They can't make a James Bond movie this, these uh, these days about um, MI6 being in, or MI5, whichever one it is, being invaded by someone. Oh. Come on. Out you come.
Uh, where's the stack of boxes I've lined up together here? Where is it? Oh, it's over there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where is it? Nope, left a bit. <laughs> okay, this is working out. Okay, okay. And then... I think it was one more. Oh! Oh, I think we're right on the threshold then of um, taking falling damage. And falling damage is fatal in this game. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna spawn some dudes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna pretend to know anything about that. <laughs> oh wait, is this a door? No. I guess that's a window. Okay. I'll look at the map just in case there's somewhere really obvious I haven't been. Uh, no, I'm actually um, uh, Western Europe mostly. Um, uh, I haven't seen any doors that needed a key card. Hmm. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hmm. I think it's this way. The game is. This game, um. Not only does it have a, a habit of um, spawning enemies um, in areas you've previously been in, or rooms that you're currently in, um, it has a few levels of um, infinitely respawning enemies, but the fact I'm seeing none at all makes me think I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> oh! Where did he come from? <laughs> Wait, did he just... <laughs> <laughs> this jumped to his death. Why did he do that? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Was the game trying to hint at me that I need to go up there? No, that's too high to climb. Okay. <laughs> A leap of misplaced faith, it seems. Um... There must be a reason the game gave me a card key. It doesn't normally go indoors. Probably walk straight past one. Normally the um, the card keys in this game are just you know, literally right next to the door you use them in. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, I think I get it. I need to bust through this window. There we go. <laughs> you just have to know that, okay? And that green light there is the door we're putting the card key in. Oh, damn. Oh, whoa. Ah! These... <laughs> oh, um, I hope that went okay. <laughs> I it went better for you than it did that guy. Okay, that's a flak jacket. Okay. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Where's he going? Oh, no, I think I got him. 
wasted like a whole clip, whoops. Yeah, this traversal system is generally pretty good, but um, I don't know if it was super obvious then, but when I climbed up on that platform, it didn't line me up with it, which meant that if I just pressed forward, it would want to walk straight off the edge of that platform. They've mostly done a great job making it kind of like line you up to walls and stuff, but they didn't quite get that detail right. It's still a massive improvement over Bubsy 3D though. <laughs> All right, let's try that again and try not to get murdered by a scientist who apparently has combat training. Right, combat will roll for the window. Get a drop on this time. Ah! Damn, this guy's... <laughs> <laughs> this guy's ready for my cam combat roll strats. Okay, okay, this time no more messing around. This time, oh, actually, maybe a gas mask, maybe a gas grenade won't work on him because he's wearing a mask. Hmm. Let's try that again. I think we can just run through this, no problem. Yeah. As long as you keep on the move, he can't get you. Okay. Right. Shotgun would probably be quite effective, but no, we haven't gotten the farmer for the G18 to use it really. Um, okay, let's try grenades. I don't remember, are these gas grenades or normal grenades? Don't know. <laughs> I think they're gas grenades. Let's try one. Thank goodness the game gave me a checkpoint when it did. Huh? No, not that guy. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> right. Carefully adjust. Okay, let's try the shotgun. Let's try the shotgun. That's usually pretty effective at short range. And the key, the key something I found really strange with the shotgun is that unlike most weapons, it seems really affected by motion. Like your accuracy seems to really drop whenever you're moving with it. Oh, but like more than most other weapons, I'm not really sure why. Damn, he's a t <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna open the door behind him and then open up a bit more space so I've got a bit more to work with. <laughs> yeah, well the thing is like, I mean, I don't know whether it's you know, like a video game shotgun, so it's basically like an instant kill from a foot away and then actually useless from two feet away but from what from what i've seen shotguns in reality are actually not as exaggerated as they are in games yeah they definitely lose effectiveness of range but not like they do in games okay let's open the door oh oh okay i'm just taking damage while i'm opening the door okay Right. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, that goes with a flat jacket. That's a good point. A bit more power. Thank goodness that's, that um, scientist has decided to hide in the other room. Oh, combat roll. Onto the wrong guy. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm a little close, I can't get the lock, but he's um, a mile away um, in the wrong direction. I can get locked, no problem. Okay. Last time we tried grenades, it didn't go so well, so maybe not this time. Yes! Where's the other guy gone? Now we do have to kill that scientist because he's one of the objectives, but... We can just get a cheeky headshot on them by peeking. Yes! Oh. Yeah, I've never really looked into that. Um, guess it could be fun. Uh, it doesn't tend to be super common in my neck of the woods, so... Oh, that was tight. I, I thought I'd already taken down the one on the flak jacket. I didn't realize I was going face to face with him. Okay. Whew. This isn't a long level, but I've certainly made it long. Let's move some around this corner. Okay, we can kind of peek around it. Looks kind of empty. Must have been people pop out from behind the walls here. Where are they? Oh! Oh, I need to get that bit. Oh! Oh, wait, it's another one. Oh! Ah! Oh. Well, at least we have a working strategy for that guy now. Just run straight past him. <laughs> Trying to go fast now, trying to go fast. They can be, yeah, they, they really can be quite punishing. Um, not, not always intentionally, but maybe it's just because they didn't have such great tools and, uh, I don't know, sort of terminology and discussion of things like game balance and design. Okay, open the lock. Thank you. Oh no! <laughs> I think one of, the, one of the other things though is that um, because there's quite a bit of a time gap, there's a lot of things that we've probably sort of unlearned by playing modern games. And um, one of the other things is that if you're playing a retro game today, chances are there's nobody really talking about it around you. Like, you know, I would not be likely to bump into someone talking about this game. So, yeah, you can't really discuss strategies and talk about things that are coming up and things like that. It's one of the strange things about single player games. They're never quite single player, are they? You're always kind of talking about them with people. You're always sharing experience and things like that. Okay, just made it. <laughs> ah! Wasn't... Oh, that was the one that ran past, okay, right. I was like, wasn't that guy armed last time? But no, no, it's, it's a different guy. Okay, so now we know he's here. It's time for a quick peeking. So I think he might be right next to some armor, which I'm gonna need after that. Encounter. Oh, that worked pretty well. Let's just break all these windows by getting anywhere near them. Oh, I was hoping that would be armor. Uh oh! 
<laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh. Well, at least we got the checkpoint. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. <laughs> right, grenades in this game. Grenades are an insta kill. You cannot take a small amount of splash damage from a grenade. It will just kill you if you're within a certain range of it. So the guy came behind me and threw a grenade. And by the time I noticed what he'd done, I did not have time to get away. Fortunately, however, they don't have anything to stop their AI throwing them at themselves. So if you walk, if you stand right next to them, they will throw the grenade at the floor and then you just run away. <laughs> Why did he come over here? Is he lost? Yes! Wait, there's one over there. Can I get a headshot from it? Yes! Okay, let's go and mark, let's go and mark, let's go and mark. Right. Next to source has this other scientist. Oh. I was kind of hoping he'd stay in his corner like last time, but I guess not. Uh oh, let's do them. What's he doing? Oh, no, that one's a flak jacket. Okay, okay, okay. I need to be in first person. Uh oh. <laughs> That's one of the things about this game. If you die, it is usually... If you mess up, you usually die very quickly and you do not have a lot of time to process what just happened. Unfortunately, I've... Died enough times, I know the kind of things that will just kill you quickly, and I've got not. I can see something and go, ah, it's probably a grenade. Oh, that was a bit tight. Hopefully, you dropped some armor. Yes! Okay, alright. Okay, what horrors await us down here? See anyone? Oh, it's another card key lock. Okay. Oh, but we already we already have the card key. Oh yeah, that that's that that's pretty good. I, I want to play that all the way through at some point. I've played about half of it before, and I definitely need to go back and try it again. That seems pretty far-fetched for a taser. Come on. <laughs> right. Weapon of choice. Ah, cool. That game's um, all about the bosses, right, pretty much. I mean, like, there are monsters, but they're kind of, like, not the focus, which I think is quite a... quite a risky move on their part, but I thought it was a really cool touch. Definitely has some of the more iconic bosses in the franchise that I've seen. Okay, let's need to... Ah! I need to get behind the cover. I have seen the kind of like the bonus mode where I think it's Jack's birthday. That was, um... That was, that was surprisingly tough to pull. I, I've had a quick go at that. I found it surprisingly tough. Like, oh, it's just a silly kind of joke mode. Yeah, it'll be a bit of fun. It's, it's actually really tough. The molders are a bit of a damp squib. They, they, I mean, at least when, when I played, they, they didn't seem super consequential. Oh, there's her flak jacket. Um, uh oh, they've all got flak jackets. Oh dear, I'm probably gonna die. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Well, the bad news is I'm out of time for today, so I'm gonna have to pick this up probably the weekend. I didn't really play this today because uh, something went wrong with what I was actually gonna play. So thank you very much for joining. 
and I'll see you another time. Have a great evening. <laughs>